The HERSIG is divided into seven modules. Module 1 is located closest to the combustion turbine and is therefore the hottest area of the HERSIG. Module 7 is located furthest from the combustion turbine and is therefore the coolest. The carbon monoxide, ammonia injection grid, and selective catalyst reduction modules are located between HERSIG tube modules 3 and 4. The ammonia vaporizing skid is located at ground level. The HERSIG is a three pressure system in which each HP, IP, and LP section transfers energy from the CT exhaust gas to a water supply to make superheated steam for the steam turbine. The boiler modules are arranged to perform different tasks. They are categorized according to the tasks they perform. Boiler coils within the modules are categorized as economizers, evaporators, superheaters, and reheaters. All of these sections are equipped with automatic and manual drain valves for maintenance draining, water removal during operation, and bottom blowdown sequences necessary for chemistry control. Economizers for the LP drum, which are the last modules in the HERSIG before gas exits to the stack, are also called preheaters. Tubes in the HERSIG modules are covered with fins for increased surface area, maximizing heat transfer to the tubes. These vertical tubes are combined into rows and rows into coils for a specific purpose within the HERSIG. Multiple coils can be assembled into bundles. The bundles are connected via welded manifolds, top and bottom, to direct water or steam as required for its purpose. Bundles across the gas path would constitute a module. In the selective catalytic reduction system, ammonia is injected into a vaporizer and mixed with HERSIG exhaust gases. This vaporized ammonia is injected uniformly into the exhaust gas stream by means of the ammonia injection grid. This mixture then goes through the catalytic reactor to convert nitrogen oxides in the combustion turbine exhaust gas to nitrogen and water.